welcome back to another lesson. Shout out to Mr. Rick Conlin for requesting this bad boy. Uh, it's called Stars and it's by a band called Hum and it's in drop D tuning. That is probably all you need to know. It's a banging tune, so let's learn this thing. Now, as I say, it's in drop D. So the low um, E string goes down to D and you only really need a distortion pedal, but there is a bit of chorus in the uh, kind of intro part where you hear And for that, I'm going to be using the uh, Jam Pedals Waterfall. It's an absolutely lush sounding chorus. Um, any chorus pedal is going to get you there for this one though. Um, also for distortion, you know, just need a fairly high gain distortion pedal. I'm sticking with my flavour of the month, which is my Friedman BOD. So it goes like this. And I think you do need a higher gain distortion pedal because for the... For that part, um, that needs to be meaty. So let's crack on and learn the first part. So we're going to play. And then repeat that around. It's really straightforward. You're basically going to play a D uh, power chord. But flatten your first finger and include the low E, right? So you've got the um, uh, A in the bass. And the rhythm is... Like that. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you move down. I've seen some tab where people are playing 4-4 four, four here. I don't think that's what he's doing because I don't really hear that. Sounds a bit wrong to me. So I think what he's doing is um, just playing the fourth fret on the E string, or D string as it now is. And if you um, fret it in that way, you'll naturally mute the A string, right? And then you just play a, an open D. Now I have tabbed um, this, uh, which I think is what he plays, but if you need to take your finger off and do a, then no one will blame you. In fact, I tend to gravitate towards that style myself. Um, so that's it, you play that around a couple of times. Uh, the um, distortion kicks in for the D though, I think on the ooh, second time around maybe. That rings out. Then back to a clean tone, but add your chorus of choice, and then you're going to play this. All right, it's really straightforward. One finger is all you need, and you're going to play zero nine zero. So you're going to play down, down, up. Take your finger off and play an up stroke again before you move your um, second finger or whichever you're using to the ninth fret on the G. Play it twice and then take it off again. And the rhythm is subtly, subtly different between this part and when he goes into the verse. So you're gonna play. Like that, right? So let me slow that down. in the next part, you're going to bend up. Okay. But when you go to these um, parts, they're just eighth notes for that last, uh, the last part of that bar, right? So it's just ever so subtly different, but it's just something that I noticed while I was working it out. So um, with the distortion. Really cool, right? So, 
and you could avoid playing the low D if you don't want it to get too noisy. So you can hear that bend ring out a bit cleaner. It reminds me of Smashing Pumpkins loads. So it's down, 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 up. Then a little whack. And then you just play two with the ninth fret on, uh, which is the ninth fret on the G, and then off. And that's it. Then you go into the chorus part, right, which is uh, basically the intro, or the first part of the intro, which is... Like that, right, but with the rhythm... Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, down. Change. Then this part, which is awesome. So good. So you're going to play. And I would play this all as downstrokes. I wouldn't play it alternately because I think that's the way they play it and it's easier to play and get their the fluidity of it that those chugs right so you're going to do one one two then okay so a hammer on from the second to the fourth and then another couple right with that rhythm And then the last beat is, so hammer on from the second to the fourth, and then pull off very subtly from the second to the open. Together you have slowly. So I'm applying my palm muting quite a way back actually, so it's not really... You know, you want it to be quite flubby and sort of, you know, with that low end sort of ring out. But for those parts, and I'm not palm muting those. But I'm not taking my hand completely off. I'm just ever so slightly um, loosening up the kind of palm muting. Back to the D riff. And then you've got a new riff that comes in which goes. That's just subtly different on the fourth time. You're going to play. That's the same as the first part that we played before. Then you go up to some octaves on the 14th fret, uh, 14th fret on the D, and 17th fret on the B. And you play up, down, up, down. And back around. And on, I think each fourth time, you can basically flatten down your um, fingers. So you're playing 14, 14, 17, 7 there. And that gets played as a bit of an embellishment, right? Which is cool. Then the breakdown. And you'll hear a clean guitar part basically playing. Playing that. And occasionally you'll also hear... You know, so it'll mix up with... So again, if you want to put that in, you can. And then you've got one of my favorite riffs in the tune, which is this. Which is superb, isn't it? Um, it took me a little while to figure this one out because I thought he was just playing, you know, doing that, right? But I don't think it is. I think 
and when I saw one of them live and his hands are just like just doing that right and I was like what is going on there but because of the um, drop D you can do that right which is awesome so you're pulling off on the fifth fret on the A there right all palm muted and then you do a pull off on the seventh fret and then a slide from the seventh to the ninth you could do a, a hammer on there but I think the slide's easier to get back to the fifth fret super super awesome when you get it and you're just doing quite a simple up and down pattern with your right hand then so it makes it loads easier so slowly coming out of it you play Back into the chorus. So that was it. Thanks again, Rick, for your support over at Patreon and everyone else. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.